Well, here in Port Leash with Edward Byrne and uh, Richard Cody of Carlo, we're also joined by Paul Cody in the background there. Uh, Richard, I'll start with you. Carlo, back up to Division 1B. How important a win is that? How big a win is that? Yeah, look, it's 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 huge. It's huge. Um, can't say how 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 big it is really for the county and the hurling win, Carlo. Um, you know, like I said, we're a small hurling community, but we're a very passionate crowd down in Carlow, and I think we deserve we deserve and we really want to be in Division One hurling. You know, and we've tried for we haven't won since 2012, and we've been to finals, we've been beaten in three or four finals, and it was heartbreak to you the truth. But I think this this team, they're a young bunch of lads, and I think this team needs to be in Division One order to progress Carlow hurling. So uh, we're delighted, we're absolutely delighted today. Edward Byrne, you were in full forward, although occasionally you drop back into your own half back line. What was the what was the difference this year? What was the difference in this final as compared to the ones? That has just been mentioned by Richard. Yeah, I suppose last year um, uh, we were we went up to Newry. It was a bad day or whatever. We were playing a good Antrim side. We knew how tough they were and all. We went up to hurl, but Antrim went up and they, or came down to Newry and, and they beat us in the battle, you know. So we decided this year like we need, we needed to be prepared for the battle straight away. And we gave Westmead everything we had in that first 15 minutes and just to see where we stand, you know. I mean, the game is not won the first 15 minutes, but it can definitely be lost in that 15 minutes, you know. And we kind of set the tempo there for that first first half and. I, I, luckily I carried us over the line in the end you know Paul Cody how important is it for you as hurlers that you're now back among the big boys you're back in Division 1B it's very important I think to be, to be in the ranked in the top 12 in Ireland is, is important for Carlow and we have only six senior hurling clubs in Carlow not many people know that like and Carlow has to be up there to promote hurling Carlow and you know if we were down in 2A or suffering around there you know football might take over hurling won't be that but to be in 1B and, and to learn and play with the Galways and play with Dublins and it's only going to bring us on and, and that's where we want to go Richard did you fear at one stage that this was gone this mightn't happen a couple of years that bit older and maybe a few chances had slipped by um, tell you the truth I didn't I always believed in this bunch of lads um, I knew I knew I knew we were well capable of winning that, that division to win. I know, like I said in the speech there, we made life hard on ourselves the first day, um, losing to West Mead. We knew we had the, the hard, hard road to take, having to go down to Kerry and win. But um, I don't know. I, I, look, like I said, we lost three finals or whatever, but I always felt there was, we could get up to Division 1 Hurling. And, and hopefully next year we can, we can stay there. You know, we'll have a, have a big 12 months ahead of us, but hopefully then we can stay there. Edward Byrne, talk to me about the influence of Cormac Banner. And step into shot as well. Don't be shy. Say hello to the off-the-ball audience. <laughs> and talk to me about the influence of Cormac Banner. What has he brought this year? Yeah, Colm, he's a, he's, he's a massive hurling man, you know. You can tell Colm, not Cormac, so I always <laughs> confuse him. Yeah, Colm, he's a massive hurling man, in fairness to him. Uh, you can see when he gets to train and even he's pure buzzing to get out on that pitch. He loves hurling from every aspect of it you know and he brings a very professional outfit with him you know he, he knows the ins and outs he was hurling with the best some of the best teams in the country he, he was training uh, Waterford IT and Ballyhead Shamrocks all Ireland's you know and like that kind of pedigree you know is very good for Carlo to be able to get you know so we were delighted to get him on board and look it's uh, two final finals we've had three finals in two years so far and won two of them so his record is pretty good you know Finally, Richard, this has to be a starting point, not a finishing point, right? Absolutely, yeah. Hopefully now this is going to kick start us. Um, look, we have a, a tough group in the Joe McDonald, but there's a great prize at the end of it. So, you know, I want to hit the ground running in, in, in May uh, and hopefully get a few wins under our belts and be in the last two as our aim. And, and we'll see from there. If we can go up to Lee McCart, we can give it a right, great good crack. But, you know, there's serious work to be done between now and then. But hopefully it's a, it's a good starting point anyway. Lads from Bally Murphy to Bangkok, they enjoyed this one. Brendan Hennessy is in the background. He nearly blew the ear off me in commentary. Well done. Congratulations Thanks to you and your team. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well done, boys.